But hell no, yeah, 100K is the first goal. Yeah, yeah. Once, well, dude, what, what ends up happening is once you break 100K, I mean, you'll hit like a quarter million, 300,000, like, like that. Like that. It's, just, it's like making the first 10,000. Once you break $10,000, you'll go to like 25,000. And then the next impulsive, you're at six figures. So one more impulsive on your portfolio, you'll be sitting at like 300 Gs. Like that. And then the next one after that, you're at, you're at a million. That's how you do it, bro. I'm telling you. You stick with this game long enough. I mean, I, I like, let me tell you this, right? All, all my friends and buddies who started in crypto with me, I don't know a single one that's not a millionaire now. Not a single one. Not one person. That was with me during any part of 2017 or up until like, let's see, uh, 2019. Every single one's a multimillionaire. Every single one. There's not one that I know of. All my buddies in crypto are millionaires, multimillionaires. So you stick, you stick with this game long enough. You're gonna, you're going to win this game. This is a game, this is a game of attrition. Just survive the last. The, the, the dips, you know, survive the dips. Don't lose hope. Just keep, keep walking forward. Keep going forward, and you're going to fucking win. It's, it's, it, this game is basically who's got the hand, who's got those diamond hands. If you got those diamond hands, and you, you're, you're not, you're not this capitulation ass motherfuckers. You can survive, and you're not doing retarded shit. The main thing is not just doing dumb shit, not leveraging yourself. If you're not over, if you're not over leveraged, if you're not over leveraged, and you, and you can survive, and you can keep your coins. Like they can't take your coins from you. If you have your coins. Sure, the value of the coins can go up and down, but you can if you're in good coins that that are that are, that are going like this, that are they're that are going up and they're growing and they're and they and they got um, ecosystems and stuff like that. Keep those coins, yield on them. Don't do dumb stuff with it, and you're going to win because you look five back five years from now, you guys are gonna be looking like, oh my god, I can't believe how dumb I was. It it just happens, man. You're going to fucking win. Period. It doesn't matter which segment of the of the market you're in, too. Like every segment of the market, whether you're just a fucking you know degen ape into shit coins, a degen into like regular that. Some of my friends were just Bitcoin ETH only. My NFT friends, um, yield farmers. Every single segment of the crypto space, all of them are millionaires. All of them. Every segment. Yeah. holders win, yeah. And then over time, what ends up happening is as you become a holder, I mean, a lot of my friends are starting to now create projects. They're upgrading. So the next level of the pyramid is effectively, um, I mean, like all the all the money is made by holders and, and founders, right? So some friends of mine are starting to become NFT founders. They're starting to become, you know, like me and Charlie are, you know, we, we got like our stuff in the background. We'll talk about it in private and stuff. But like we're, we're like everyone's, you'll, you'll level up. And then even if you don't want to like make a project, you can just keep over time increasing your portfolio to the point where you become, you'll, you'll, you'll eventually level up into eight figures and not in nine figures one day. Like this, this stuff is, if this stuff is not possible anywhere else, but here in crypto, there's no market where you could like normal dudes. Like you don't need a PhD. You don't even need a high school. You have no fucking education at all and just have passion for this thing. And you're going to make it over time. For real. And yeah, just like John said, I love sex too. <laughs> yeah. But definitely, man. Well, let me go over some of the chats and shit. Uh, yeah. Buying every week. Yeah. DC. I'm telling you, that's how I made it, dude. I was a blue collar, work, blue collar business owner. Who DCA his way into like into a nice lifestyle, and it was and it, it I didn't have any family money. It was my own money. I, I sweated like crazy. I worked crazy hours, seven days a week, three sixty five. I, I remember most years I, I would only took like I think I would in, in, if I added up all the days I missed work. I think I missed four days, five days on average, if that, like, usually I'd get sick once a year or something like that, if that, or like, I'd feel a little run down. And then like, like New Year's, New Year's, no, not even New Year's, I'd work on New Year's. It'd be Christmas Eve and Christmas, and then maybe like a random, like two days in there somewhere. That's you. That's usually with my years. And I, I did that forever, basically, like just running hard as fuck, especially when you're, if you're in your twenties, man, you need to be grinding, especially, especially if you have a business, man. So just, you know, Look into things you, you, yeah, exactly. 